Hey, this is Dominic. And this is Ross. This is your Data Drop News for Friday, August the 6th, 2021. We all know identity thieves are bad people, but it was still surprising to find out that they were stealing the identities of the Surfside condo collapse victims within days of the tragedy. A new study by IBM and the Ponemon Institute places the cost of data breaches at a record high of 4.24 million per incident. This is a 10% increase from last year and the largest single year cost increase in the last seven years. The rise is attributed to the accelerated digital transformation and the shift to remote work during the global COVID-19 pandemic, among other factors. Visit our episode post for more eye-raising stats from this study. Amazon faces the single largest GDPR fine to date. The $888 million penalty comes for violating data protection rules, concluding a probe started by a 2018 complaint from a French privacy rights group. GDPR watchdogs are allowed to levy fines of as much as 4% of a company's annual global sales, meaning this massive fine is still a far cry from the maximum penalty. California's Consumer Privacy Act recently celebrated its first birthday, and it's off to a good start. Here are the numbers. 75% of the companies flagged for CCPA violations responded by amending their practices within a 30-day grace period provided under the law. The remaining 25% of alleged violators were either in the midst of their 30-day cure period or under ongoing investigation. Ohio is the latest state to introduce a bill for protecting consumer data privacy. The bill is presented as a middle ground amid the field of existing state privacy laws, balancing consumer protections with corporate interests. Only 2.3% of Twitter users have enabled two-factor authentication. According to the social media company's own data, we at the Data Collaboration Alliance strongly recommend the remaining 97% of Twitter users follow suit, as two-factor authentication is one of the easiest and most secure ways to protect your personal data. New York City has instituted one of the nation's first data privacy laws prioritizing biometric data. The new law will protect New York City's approximately 8 million residents and 65 million yearly visitors from the collection, storing, sharing, or use of biometric identifiers by commercial establishments without first notifying individuals. The law also includes a private right of action, meaning individuals can bring actions against commercial establishments that violate the law. Popular open source audio editor Audacity recently made headlines for its new and potentially invasive privacy policy. Now the company has issued an update that should alleviate users' fears. The new policy clearly states that Audacity won't collect user data and what little personally identifiable information they get, namely the client's IP address, will not be stored. The personal information of an unknown number of British Columbians has been leaked online after a data breach at mental health services provider Homewood Health. Agencies whose information may be compromised include BC Housing, TransLink and the Provincial Health Services Authority. The data appeared for sale on self-proclaimed leaked data marketplace Marketo, not to be confused with the CRM software of the same name. Photos of schools and classrooms posted in Facebook, including images of teachers and students, can often be viewed by anyone, even those not logged into Facebook accounts. This ability to easily access pages and pictures means that they can systematically be accessed using data mining methods, raising serious privacy concerns. It gets worse. Since practically all U.S. schools report their websites to the National Center for Education Statistics, and many schools link to their Facebook pages from their website, these posts could be accessed in a comprehensive manner, according to experts. And now, PET News, the latest developments in privacy-enabling technology. (laughs) Apple released iOS 14.5 at the end of April introducing the concept of app tracking transparency and the ability to stop apps from tracking your activity for ad purposes. New data shows just how popular the feature is, with only around 4% of users saying yes to tracking, according to Verizon Media-owned Flurry Analytics. SoftBank has announced a $235 million investment in the Israeli firm AnyVision, with the goal of expanding their facial recognition technology into the U.S. We mentioned New York's biometric data protections earlier. This is just one example of what they're up against. Bank of America has tapped software developer Epsilon to help develop their strategy for targeting advertisements in a post-cookie world. The plan is to create targetable profiles locally within the bank's data center, thus avoiding restrictions on web tracking cookies. 
The Data Drop is a production of the Data Collaboration Alliance, a nonprofit advancing meaningful data ownership and inclusive innovation through open research and free skills training. To learn more about our partnerships, the Information Ownership Network, or the Data Collaboration University, please visit datacollaboration.org.